हेलो स्टूडेंट्स डॉक्टर सुनील फ्रॉम सर जे सी बोस टेक्निकल कैंपस कुमार यूनिवर्सिटी दिस साइड टुडे आई विल टेक अप टू सेशंस वन ऑन ट्रेवसिंग विद द डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल थ्री एंड अनदर वन विद वर्किंग विद डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल सो हेयर इन फर्स्ट लेसन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल ट्रेवसल so in my earlier sessions you came to know you have learned about what is document object model tree here tree means a uh, here uh, web do document is been listed in in the form of tree if we look at the different elements of html you'll find how this tree is been done over there so different elements are there h1 paragraph in body section in head we have title style etc so if we look at this uh, structure of tree this is actually how this tree is been there are various branches are there stems are there and different uh, attribute of html elements are there now in previous section we have taken we have discussed about types of document object model nodes so we learnt about there are different types of nodes are there one is element nodes which can have children and their attributes and text node which is having text in the block element and the attribute nodes which is which cannot have children uh, here attribute can be have text attributes they are children in element now if you look at this uh, one of the example this paragraph here there is a link a tag is there a element is there now how do we traverse what do mean by traversing the document object model tree traversing means selecting one element from a neighboring element and here this also describes how to navigate how to move tree like structure of dom now again we come to know what is dom or document object model traversing it's dom is a tree like representation of the html document this document object model provide programming interface to interact with the website using javascript basically javascript don't understand html code it always understand the html document only through document object model so every item in the document object model is known as node and this no dom document object model allow us to manipulate html document structure content and its style dom traversal which is also called walking or navigating the document object model it is a act of selecting nodes in the dom tree from other nodes so we can traverse we can move forward we can move we can walk in different direction like downwards we can move sideways we can move upwards now first one traversing downwards there are two methods to traverse downwards one is query selector another is query selector or query selector all the another property another method which is used to traverse downward is called children now let us discuss one by one these methods first one is query selector or query selector all so if you want to traverse if you want to navigate specific element then we use query selector or or element query selector all now query selector method this method return first element that matches css selector 
for example if we want to find the first paragraph element if we look at this program there is a heading three headings are there h1 s2 now p this is a p element p this is a p element there is another one more paragraph is there script is close then document dot query selector p style background color red now this will give us the red color on the paragraph text if you look at this because we are adding the red color to the first paragraph only now second method the query selector all this method returns element that matches css selector it returns node list since it this all is there and it will give us syntax error in case of selector is invalid if we in the let's have a one example to select all element with the class examples we have different headings h1 h2 then paragraph then h2 class class is a here we have declared one class as example heading 2 p class example now script in in script we have taken document query selector all example we will we will include all the rows all the paragraph over here for let uh, we keep on uh, having loop here we will take one by one element of the uh, paragraph and does red color if we look at this this will give us p is the heading here and the another line it will include it this will add background to the all elements with the class examples uh, because we have given query selector all the next method is children property this lets us to select direct children descendant and this will returns html collection when update when children elements are changed now we want to find the collection of body element children now how many children are there its syntax is constant collection document body children now we have declared in this program in this example h1 s2 element object the children of property paragraph then we have given one id to the paragraph demo and here we will give document body children let text is blank then we keep on having the loop and one by one they will keep adding to the list and the new there is a br means there is next line if we have if we want to find the element we give get element by id since we have given id to the paragraph now this will list all the children in the body h1 h2 p p since there are two paragraph and there is a different elements are there different tags are there script tag is also there it will list all the children now tra traversing upward we want to traverse there are two methods parent element and closest parent element property which lets us to select parent element this is the element that encloses current element now if we look at the example example list there is a unordered list we give id to the list items my i like coffee L I T L I, then there is a unordered list is being closed. Then there is a one message enclosed in P paragraph element. Click the button to get the node name of the same element. Now button on click my function will call it my function. Then try it. Function my function says how to 
get the element by id since we given one id to the paragraph that is demo parent element node name it will take one by one element or store element of the current means this will tell the parent of the current tag now if we look at there is a uh, if we, in this example there are two things are being listed in list coffee and tea if we press on try it then it will give ul because this we have we want to find the list parent of the unordered list the next property is closest method closest method which uh, which searches element with a, can be multiple level above the current element this select the closest ancestor which matches the selector whatever you want to search for so it will start from the ancestor parent grandparents etc unless until match is found if we give if we want to give it syntax is constant closest ancestor element closest selector here now let's take one example here we have we want to find the closest element that matches the cs selector container container demo there we have given one uh, st uh, cascade style sheet over there background color is tomato color is white and padding cell padding is there 20 pixels margin is 10 pixels then style Clo style is close since uh, this CSS has to be declared in head section only then start with the body h1 h2 element object closest method s2 demo grandparent here if we want to run this program here we have given style border is four pix four pixel solid black now if you look at this the closest method here it will give you the border and the next closest element over there now traversing sideways there are three methods to traverse sideways one is next element sibling previous element sibling combining parent element child and index now first one is the next element sibling property next element next element property returns the next node on the same tree level and this return a node object and this is read only there is a next sibling also next in next sibling this is the same as next sibling next element sibling returns the next sibling node as an element node or text node or component node and here in next element sibling it ignored text and comments while in next sibling it accommodate text and command node also syntax is next node next element sibling now if we want to find the html content of next sibling there are two headings are there h1 h2 then there is a list items in ordered uh, unordered list coffee and tea and we want to display it document get el element id by id item 1 because we want to find the next element of item 1 next element sibling inner html then it will give you the if we want to have this if you want to if you look at the output element object next there the two items will be displayed first item coffee tea is the second item and here uh, if we look uh, next element sibling from point to view of the item one that will be tree t will be displayed now previous element sibling this element will uh, this will return the previous element in the same tree level and this will immediately prior to the specified one in the in its parent children it will return you return us a node object 
Now, if we look at the example, we have H1, H2. There are two items, coffee and tea. And we want to display document get element ID item 2. We want to see the which one is the element in previous to the item 2. That is T se pehle kon hai. What is the element before item 2? Then we will list it and here it will display coffee first item. Now there are other properties also for the traversing the dom tree. We have first child then last child. This returns the first start and end of this node as a list of children. Child node. This will display all the children of the uh, HTML collection list. Next sibling. Neighboring nodes with the same parent. Previous sibling. Parent node. This will display the current element that contain this node. Now first child. This first child is reduced to return the first child node of the parent node element. It is read only, it will always return element node. Then if we look at the example, we have two headings H1, H2, div, we have given division tag uh, with the id my div. There are two paragraphs, P second child, P with the fourth child. P node of the my div is first child is we want to node we want to find the name node name of the my div and we have given id to the paragraph that is demo here white space element white space between element is considered as text nodes this is a first child so now there is a one more paragraph the first, third, fifth child at my div is text node. This is message to be displayed. The first, third, first, third, fifth child will be my div. Then let text document get element by id my id first child name. This will display paragraph second child first two paragraph will be listed. Then node name of the my div is a child is text. This will tell us the text node here. Then white space, this will message will be uh, displayed. White space will be between element will be considered as text node. And it will tell us first, third and fifth child of my div is text node. Last child, this will return the last child of the specified node. This will give us text comment and element nodes. It depends whichever, which of them occur at last. Again, we have one example. H1, H2, the element object, last child, divide my div. There are two paragraph, second child in div, P, four child in div, and there will be message will be, the node name of my div is last child is PID demo, we are assigning one ID to the paragraph that is demo. Again, message white space between the text node will be considered as text node. In this example, the first, third, fifth child of the my div is text node. Then script will start here. Document get element by ID my div last child node name. Document get element ID demo dot inner html text this will display us second paragraph second child second child in div four child in div then there will be message about the node name then there will be white space will be taken as one of the will be considered as text node then last element will be get printed over there the child node property in child node property it will return collection of node child node in the as a node list object this is nothing collection of elements 
which are sorted in html here text is considered as notes and comments are also considered as notes this property is read only again we have a select id we have given my select size is 4 there are few options are there java sql html css then there is a one break button on click my function will be called up then we have assigned demo to the paragraph function my function says variable c document get element by id my select it will keep on selecting one 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 by one element and store in the list child notes document get element by id demo inner list and it will store one by one and it will give us different example uh, output over here it will store us java sql html css in one list next sibling next sibling pro this is will return the next node on the same tree level it will give return us node object there are two headings are there h1 s2 unordered list we have given id to the list items item one that is coffee first item another we are given id item to the list next element that is t second item then there will be html content to the next item first item is this will display the content and here we have given demo to the demo id to the paragraph then strong we strong is for making bold then white space between element consider text node because this is a next sibling and it is not next element sibling in this white space between the element will be considered as a text node but in case of next element sibling they are not considered as text node now there is one more uh, paragraph message is there to add white space between two li item the result will be undefined now script will be there will be get alum, element by id item one next sibling item html document get element demo in a text this will be giving us the item one the next element now if we look at this uh, coffee coffee there are two items in the list but there, then there will be a message due to the paragraph then it will select since we have given coffee as a item one id it will select next to the this id that is t is there t will be displayed then there will be two messages will be there since we have given white space elements white space between elements are considered as text elements text nodes now previous siblings previous sibling and there we have already studied previous element sibling also there so it this will return previous node the same level it is read only only difference between previous sibling and previous element is uh, previous sibling considered element uh, white space in between the element is take, uh, are counted as text nodes they are taken as a considered as a text nodes so previous sibling returns the previous sibling nodes it may be uh, element node text node and comment node now uh, let's take a example for the previous sibling property h3 the previous sibling property in javascript given example list if we look at this there is an unordered list we give id to the list item first item that is item one that is html first then another is item two to css then item three id to the javascript third then we give a jquery fourth the item four id is there then there is a one message then we call my click button now if we look at this we call the document we call the my functions and 
in respect to the item two we want to previous sibling the get element by id if we look at this it will display item html there it will list all the four items html css javascript jquery and if we want to press we want to find the uh, previous sibling in respect to item 2 that is css it will display when we press when we click on the click here it will display html first the parent node property it will display the parent node of the element uh, if you look at this example it will display pid at jfg we have we have given to the paragraph and on we call uh, on button on click my parent node will be called up and this function having gfg id parent node to the selected one if we select this uou message will be displayed try it this will give us the parent of the uh, selected that is div since it's declared in the div tag current div tag so in this session you have learned about different uh, different way of traversing different way of navigating the document object model thank you